Hi guys, Mona Zilia from teachingyou.net and today I wanted to show you a little plugin called uh, FunnelKit. I'm sure you've probably heard of it. Uh, it's a landing page plugin that well you use to build landing pages for. I just want to actually show you an example before I start out. I'm actually personally using this in my business to build landing pages and it's actually pretty neat. Let me just open up uh, this page here. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is one of the landing pages I've built with FunnelKit. What's nice about it, you can add your own background, you set your header, you can even set, set this little timer, causing a little bit of urgency for people to subscribe. <laughs> different text you can add, different buttons, you can change the colors of the text box and the borders and all of that. And it's, it's, it's really good, it works well. Uh, let me just show you how to work this is with the steps <clears throat> inside and putting your whole landing page together first off you'll start with a background and then um, there's different options here you've got a satellite view you've got a road view satellite and road view um, this is all to do with Google Maps so you can actually set up a few things there <clears throat> then you've got uh, the image you can upload your own image, you can set it to stretch the background to full width. It's like you have it here, you've got a full width background. Yeah, you can do different kinds of things. You can add, add a solid color, even a gradient or even a video as a background. So I've, I've seen some video, uh, video landing pages, so it's pretty cool. And then you go to the next step, which is the main container. And this is the layout settings. So you can either have it full width and fixed width, all kinds of things here. The container horizontal position, you can set set it to middle, which is usually the best. Or you have a percentage value, you can use to set it a little bit left from the side or a little bit right. You've also got a container vertical position, um, so obviously you want to keep it top or you want to have it from the top, uh, say 250 pixels. You can enable an outer glow. Uh, and even choose the color okay and we go to step three now this is the part where you actually paste your autoresponder form code um, if you're using Aweber you just grab your form code you paste it in here and if you want to do custom styles you can change like the the border colors to blue the input colors to blue or whatever color you like uh, and you can actually choose buttons and stuff. Um, if you buy Final Kit, you actually get a um, get a, like a whole package with graphics and stuff and different buttons. Or well, actually, let me just see. Yeah, yeah, you can see blue, gray, different styles. Even add to cart buttons, subscribe, all kinds of stuff. It's really, really, really good. Okay, and. Step four is the content area. Um, if you see on the side here, on the right hand side, you can see tools and you can actually select, oh, sorry, just drag and drop, sorry, I can't remember, what is it now? Drag and drop, two columns, three columns, text. So if I wanna go drag and drop it over here and you can add different sections, you can add a little bit of text here, some, text of a left with an image on here or just make it an image you can add your opt-in form here and then you can actually have a preview of what it would look like oops okay error occurred but okay you get the idea so there's quite a few things you could do There is a, a one little neat thing I like doing, and that's putting the time in there. You can actually grab one of this and go into the text, and you can change the text, and you just add the time in there. And you can go uh, zero zero. Oh, sorry, yeah, zero zero. And then um, I usually set things to five minutes, so it's oh five, and then 
zero zero, and just add the closing percentage there. Now doing this will put like a countdown timer, and we can actually make it a little bit bigger. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oops. Not doing that again. Um, yeah, you can make it bigger. I usually like doing an H1 to make the timer nice and big. And you can save it. Now you've got a nice countdown clock. And you can add your images. So if you want to go and you can, you can actually go and upload an image or just paste the URL to it. You can center left or right align. And um, yeah, you can do quite a few things there. You can even, if you want, embed a video, okay? So, <laughs> there's a lot of options here. Then we go to step five. <clears throat> step five, you can have an optional call-out messages. Um, I don't really use this, but I also haven't seen it in action, but it's an extra option. Step six, um, yeah, there you give your page name. This will be like a WordPress page name, for example. So it will be like um, your landing page, okay? And give a page title. The geo targeting services, um, this is usually when you're using Google Maps, you enable this. And it will, and if you set the Google Maps background in the beginning on step one to like road view or satellite view, what that will do is it will actually get your location and it's like you can have like an option where it says, uh, I see you also located in, for example, Cape Town. And uh, yeah, that's quite interesting. It has a nice positioning and doesn't exactly get your pinpoint, but it's more or less and it's. Uh, a very good uh, way of getting people to subscribe to your opt-in form. Okay, it's got two um, places for exit messages. Uh, jQuery exit message uh, and uh, JavaScript. I usually just use the JavaScript because it actually gives an option for the redirect link. Uh, redirect link sorry. <laughs> and um, yeah, you can just go to like, your URL dot com forward slash thank you okay and your exit message whatever message you want to add for an exit pop-up and your tracking code okay this tracking code will be your conversion code so if somebody lands on a page it counts towards a conversion and this is the important part if you actually want to track how many people are opting in okay and that's it final kit is pretty cool as you can see on this page it's it's brilliant. I mean, it's something useful, very easy to use, and for I think it's about twenty-seven dollars. I bought this for. It's quite cheap, and I just love it. I just wanted to rave about it. And if you've got an online internet marketing business, trying to get leads, this is the way you should do it. Use funnel kits. I've had another another one, another plugin I bought, and I wasn't happy with it. And uh, yeah, Final Kit is the, the thing to buy. Uh, I'll leave a link down below in the post or in the description of this video so you can go check it out for yourself. Cheers, guys.